just want to take this time to say thank you to Czech as our realtor. He was a very good realtor to work with, um, very professional, very honest, very detailed, and always there when we needed him. Very responsive every time we called, and just just a really good person also. So, anyways, uh, just want to say thanks, Czechus, and also everyone out there. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. Okay. Alright, what's up everybody? I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. Another day, another video tour. So today we are going to be touring this property here, located on the south side of the Las Vegas Valley, just east of the 15. And uh, we are near St. Rose and the M Casino. If you guys want more aerial view, and information as far as location of this home go ahead and click on the link in the description below also I will have a link in the comments too as well so this home that we're gonna to be touring today the asking price on this resale is six hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars it was built in 2013 this property features a single story with a loft upstairs it is three thousand four hundred thirty square feet features four bedrooms and a loft the backyard has a beautiful rock salt pool, three car garage, so let's get right into it. Let's take a look at this home in detail. Now this home is actually a DR Horton home within this community. You have a cul-de-sac right here. Now down this road you're going to turn right and you make another right. It is a gated community so there's a total of I would say maybe about less than 30 homes here okay so let's get right into it this home has been completely renovated did a really good job so there's a lot of upgrades that have been done to this home as you can see they added the iron doors as we come in on the flooring we have 24 by 24 on the porcelain tile with a beautiful sheen to it. Take you guys all the way back here. Now the grout lines definitely have to be cleaned and sealed. And I do love these uh, shutters here. Give you that modern shutter look. Look at this. Beautiful kitchen. You have the limestone that is wrapped around the island. But I'm gonna take you guys back over here. We're gonna start back from the beginning. The home is facing north. Now this home is going to have a lot of aftermarket customization. As you can see, we have a beautiful chandelier right above the entry here. Off to the right, we do have a room and also a bathroom here. So we're going to start off with this bedroom. So if you take a look, the bedroom, the floor transitions into tile wood or wood tile like. You have 8 inch baseboards throughout. The baseboards have been upgraded. Let me just show you the baseboards. Okay. I love these plantation shutters. Really give you that modern look. Some of these shutters do need to be fixed. You got 8 foot doors. Two rocker panels that have been upgraded. Which is really nice during the time of the build. I'm sure the, uh, the owner didn't do that. The new owner. Let's take a look here inside the closet. Pretty deep closet here for your walk-in. I love the shelves all the way up to the top. This was an aftermarket. This was the original shelving right here. Did a really good job. Also down here was the original shelves too as well. You got a two and a half inch casings around the door. You got chrome fixtures. You're missing a cover for the rocker switch. This one has its separate AC unit and it looks like we have a jumper duck, which is really nice. Show you on this one, we do have our cable here and your half hot is gonna be on the opposite side. This room is a pretty decent size. Now this room right here is probably gonna be about 15 by 15. If you want more information on that, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. 
Here is the bathroom, three quarter. So the cabinets that are, are the original cabinets, during the time of the build, they upgraded this cabinet from 30 to 36. But take a look at this beautiful limestone, half inch limestone, okay? And with the beautiful vessel sink, look at this stone work on here. This is gorgeous. Now on this one, they did a couple things here. It looks like they notched this out to run um, this faucet here. But it looks like they started it and realized, you know what, I don't like it. Let's move it up here on close. And then they added a soap dispenser to cover that probably. Original medicine cabinet, they changed the light fixture there. A couple things that were upgraded here. Obviously the flooring, the toilet has been an upgrade. All this had been completely renovated. These are 18 by 18, half inch. I don't know if you guys can see the marbling on here. Oh, you guys can't see it, I'm sorry, bummer. But it's beautiful. And the fixtures are Delta fixtures, which are lifetime warranties on the fixtures. The cabinets here looks like they have been painted. Coming across here, we have our coat closet, three car garage. Let's go through here. Let's see what we got here. A couple things. It looks like it has been epoxy, which is nice. Oops. I like how they added this. 40 inch or 36 inch this black line right here all the way across looks like when they did this seal they did it all the way to the top this one is black so as you can see it does have some nice sheen to it I mean it's okay uh, this home is very unique it just depends on the style you are looking to go with that's the thing about these homes when you start adding all these type of um, cool things or cool designs to it, it comes down to style. What is your style? I love these shelvings right here. This costs about almost 800 bucks. This looks like a 75, 70 gallon tank. However, the 70 gallon tank does not have a drain pan. That's something I would add. You have your water um, purifier. I mean, water softener, I'm sorry. So you got your main line here. However, your main line um, it looks like you don't have the valve for your irrigation system. That's something I definitely take a look at. Uh, refrigerator, I'm not too sure if it has its own designated line. On this one, make sure to get with your home inspector. So we got orange peel texture, bull nose on the edging, half inch. So on this one right here, we have a little um, side courtyard and you have vinyl aluminum six by eight on all three of them. This was an upgrade during the time of the build here on this Dior Horton project. Let's go ahead and uh, come on out here. Typically what would happen is when you build something like this, all this would just be pretty much all dirt. So now we have nice travertine. Love the fact that they added this pergola up here. This is all aluminum. It's gorgeous. I mean, take a look at that. Great idea. Definitely adds that extra space. It looks like there was a ceiling fan here, but that has been plucked. All right, you got the uh, doggy door right here. Let's go back inside. Let's take a look at this uh, kitchen here. Beautiful island. This is the original countertops here. It looks like they cut the countertops here. Tell me there's a second one here. Nope. Okay, so during this build, should have been cut down here and down the center, but the slab only went down the here. I prefer to cut it down the center, so make sure when you do an island this big, they cut your slab on your quartz, make sure it's down the center, okay? And the reason why is because on this side, there's gonna be more heavy. Now you can kind of see that bend. Typically, it should be down the middle, symmetrical, to the, um, what do you call, that sink right there. Look at this limestone wrapped all the way around. Too bad you didn't have a light 
in the back of this limestone or LED lights underneath this inch and a half on the bullnose here. Oh, look at these cabinets. Okay, these are the original cabinets. The cabinets have been refurbished. Now, as you can see, some of this cabinet stuff is peeling, okay? You gotta make sure you get a right paint and you also gotta make sure you're etching those cabinets. It's a lot easier if you get somebody that specializes in that. Oh, I love this um, sink here. Nice and smooth, very clean. Whoever, you know, designed this home after, or I'm talking about like cosmetics wise, did a really good job. Great taste. And take a look at this. They added additional LED lights, the square ones. Isn't that cool? Great taste. I feel like um, the original owner was a woman that designed this for sure. Again, we got the original cabinets, okay? Countertops are original here. Refrigerator, washer, and dryer are included. This is a Samsung product. GE appliance on the microwave and also the oven here. Original cabinets, 36 and 42s with a three inch crown. Backsplash. Beautiful. Now, I mean, like overall that I'm seeing this home has the right potential. There's a little minor details where you can come in and clean this stuff up, I feel. As far as attention to detail. And these are going to be standard cabinets, standard shakers, MDFs with the staples, side glides. Now, as you can see, they had to run a screw there, it looks like. That's the problem with these uh, MDFs. Um, you got to take really good care of them. Now, one thing I do love about this home is these plantation shutters. And look at these blinds. These blinds are gorgeous. Love these blinds. I'm not too fond about the, uh, the vinyl windows and the vinyl slides. We got 10 foot ceilings. You got surround sounds. Take a look at that fan right there. Gorgeous. So you got your one in one, which you got your cable and also your cat six on this one. Looks like you got your pre wire. There must be a sub here. Let's see where the sub is. Okay. Looks like the sub should go right there. That's probably what that open outlet is right there. Let's go to the back through the uh, French doors here. The back is 7,000. 405 square feet on the lot. Beautiful pool. Let's take a look at this. Gorgeous. You got a security camera right there. You got two J boxes right there. Now we are on the uh, west side of the home. Your sun exposure is going to be on this side here. I mean, look at this travertine and this walkway with this synthetic grass. They've got these trees on the side here. Like, whoever owned this property really spent some money on this home. Okay. Now, let's go back out this way. Oh, so it looks like we have our light switch here with the timer for something. It did run to that J-Box here. I mean, this is, this is beautiful. You got the waterfall right there. It's not turned on. You got the jacuzzi. This is salt water. You got Pentair, which is the best pool pump equipment. This is all brand new assist, uh, system here. This was added in. Uh, so keep in mind, if you are buying a home from a resale owner and you find out they just recently put the pool, right, and it wasn't financed with the home, you're going to get a prelim report. Make sure within that prelim report, you check it to see if there was a voluntary lien because typically people that buy pools, they don't pay cash for it. Then what happens is they finance it and a voluntary lien occurs. I love the fact that there's two gates on both sides. Here's your... Um, access to the garage and looks like they ran cable 
all the way up to here and drilled the hole. So that means something wasn't pre-wired for your cable. That's why it's very important to pre-wire all your stuff right away. Spend the money. Look again, Direct TV pre-wired. See, look, if you're gonna build the home, you know you're gonna go with Direct TV. Already pre-wired, so that way it could just be hooked up over there. It makes sense, right? So you don't have wires hanging all over. Looks like the installers were CR Air, a Bryant Air, air Conditioning Unit. Okay, let's take a look at the air conditioning unit here. I want to see what the compressor is. Ugh. All right, that looks like only a four ton unit. So going back to the pool, if there's a, a lean, right, because of the pool, you need to make sure it's free and clear and it's paid off. Really nice. All right, let's go back inside. Let's go to the master. You got the uh, French doors. As you can see, we have some beautiful hardwood now. Now with this master, again, we have 10 foot ceilings, but on this spec right here, they didn't add the four can lighting. So it looks like you do have some pre-wire for some surround sounds, I believe. So make sure to get with the home inspector to find out, have them run the wire take off that cap and see exactly what that is for. So your TV is going to go here. We have our Smurf tube. All your rocker switches are right here. Orange peel texture, two-tone paint. Okay. Now let's go into the bathroom. Take a look at this bathroom right here. Walk right into this bathroom. Look at this stonework right here. This right here, I believe it's porcelain tile, 36 by 36 on the tile. Original cabinets. Take a look at this beautiful countertop. That's actually a pretty nice countertop. Now this right here, Feels like it's travertine, okay? And I love how they redid the plumbing here. This is all an aftermarket. You, now, you would have to have a plumber to come in here to pre-plumb it back here, redo the drywall. And I do love the medicine cabinet, and I love this mirror. And it's a full touch, which is it's not working for me. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Chandelier. So whoever owned this thing definitely has some taste. Original cabinets. As you can see the wear and tear on the cabinets, again, that just comes down to the, uh, the painting. You got the original tub. Linen closet. Oop, I lied. Water closet. Now, let's take a look at this shower. This person spent some real money in this thing. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the grout lines, but as you come up, it's more clean, hasn't been sealed. Take a look at this. Dang, look at that, it's gorgeous. <laughs> That's not cheap, folks. Nice thick glass, did a really good job though. I mean, there's just, you know, little finishes here and there that definitely need to be done as far as attention to detail. Other than that, I mean, I see the potential in this home. Now, the asking price was 650000 Overall, and this is just my opinion. Well, I love how you got a TV here. I don't know if it's going to appraise for six fifty, But again, that's just my opinion. I, I just feel like 
whoever bought this home and added all these upgrades probably thought they were going to live here forever but decided that they're going to move but that's the thing you, you don't want to overbuild your home knowing that if you're going to sell it so keep that in mind now again i didn't run the comps or anything just yet and i'm just kind of going off a win here now take a look this is what I want you to take a look at now I don't know if you guys seen that little sheen there and I just caught it now and these are the things that you got to take a look at you should have an eye for like when you're walking you can tell somebody painted something here so that tells me CSI investigation I'm investigating it right now what is it okay that means there was a crack all the way down here so basically that just shows me where the drywall was and that's going to be normal because as you can see the drywall comes here then it goes this way but what they did was they tried to paint it but you got to understand with white paint on the ceiling just seeing white paint alone there's like thousands of different shades of white just something you know fruit for thought something to look out for all right let's come in into this bedroom i know it's this bedroom has just a regular blinds here, not those modern shades. Again, 10 foot ceilings, you just have the ceiling fan, light. This one, your cable's gonna be here, but you don't have the Cat 6. Here's your closet. And this should just be a linen closet here. Yep, linen closet. Now right above us, I noticed like all these smoke detectors are all off. Here is your return lines. Definitely looks to be very dirty. Needs to be probably changed out and cleaned. Coming right across, we have our laundry room. So this looks like probably the original countertops. This is gas. Obviously washer and dryer is not included. Here's your sink. So again, all original, original cabinets. As you can see, the color of the original cabinet, so that just broke off. Come back here to, I think, what, the fourth bedroom? Again, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Uh, within that link, you're going to get the arrow view. You're going you're gonna to be able to take a look at everything that's um, nearby. All right? Our site is connected with the Google Maps, so you'll be able to see everything. Also, if you want to know what the HOAs are, all that good stuff, because you're very interested in this property, I will have that in the link in the description below. It's all in there. Everything you need to know about this property. Now take a look at this bathroom. Original cabinets, two inch on the countertops. Look at this marble vessel sink. This person has some elegant, expensive taste. Take a look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. But at the end of the day, this is all cosmetics. This could always be changed out if you wanted to, but I don't know if I would do that. Now, let's go up to the loft. Okay. Alarm system here, thermostat, 40 inch, uh, 48 inch on the uh, staircase, original banister. Nice hardwood floors, tongue and groove. Now when it comes to the hardwood floors, a couple things. Check if it's water resistant. Tongue, I like the tongue and grooves. Also, how much wood is it? Some of these wood planks, you may only have two centimeters or centimeter. Underneath it may just be plywood. Some of them may also have the, I would say that little cushion, I'm not too sure what it's called, but it's like a felt. If it's all wood, then you may have to lay down that felt. 
TV goes right here. Definitely has potential. This upstairs had the option to have a room. Could have made this into a private guest room upstairs. Love this flooring here. Original what was here, tub shower combo, okay? This was pretty expensive to do. Number one, you had to rip out the tub. You would, you would have to add this, you would have to do the hardy back. I don't know if this has been hardy back in the back or not, so this is something that you're gonna have to keep in mind. You need to find out from the owner if you're buying this home, was this actually completely sealed with hardy back all the way across, okay? Sometimes when people do the rehabs, the cut costs, they're not gonna use the hardy back, but they do have the standard, um, the green board, right? For the drywall, because that's what it's rated for. But a lot of times people, the cut costs, right? They'll just go ahead and put tile right over it. Reason why you want the hardy back, because if it floods, you don't want to have damage. So now in this one, once they ripped it out, they also had to rerun this plumbing too as well. Because the original, the drain line would have been here. Supply line would have been here. So they moved the supply line here and also the drain line here. I mean, it's cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. Do you think it is worth the asking price? We do have shopping nearby. St. Rose, again, is nearby. You got the uh, practice facility for the Raiders, if you guys are a Raiders fan. You're less than probably about 15, 20 minutes from the Strip and the airport. Uh, this area of town is growing rapidly. And also, if you have not had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up too as well. That definitely helps the algorithm. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day. Thank you.